Hi, my name is Joe. In this video, we are going to talk about how to daisy chain multiple switch together to have a long run network. The typical application we may need to daisy chain switch just like the pyramid of the campus. In the start topology network, we need to have a central switch to connect the switch from the edge. But when we wire the cable around the pyramid of the campus, it doesn't make sense to use the start topology. So daisy chain could be the solution. But there's one problem with daisy chain network. Let's say we have chain like seven switch together to come up with long run. If the second one defective, it's defective, we are going to lose all the switch after the second one. In this case, we need to have new technology called ERPS. First, let's move the whiteboard and see why we need to daisy chain the switch for the camp campus. This is the campus. We need to set up the IP camera system around the perimeter of the campus. We have switch sitting around the campus in the start topology network. We should have a central switch here and link to all the edge switch. But you can see what is the challenge. There's teaching building, there's sports ground. Also, there's some trick. It could block in the wire. So the fair solution is we can daisy chain the switch. Just like this one and we put everything together, right? And from the last one, we'll connect back to the central switch. But you can see the problem. If the second one is defective or the link is defective, let's say this now is not working. So we are going to lose all the switch after, after the second one. So the solution, what we need is just connect the first one to the last one. If this, this link is defective, the data will turn around from the first one and return to the first one. That makes sense, right? And this is a ERPS technology. Now let's move to the workshop and see how to implement this kind of setup. This is the system. I have listed the link of this item in the description. You can check the specification if you want. I just use switch switch as example. Actually, you can take a more switch up to 20 units. This is the power supply unit. It's supplying the power for this industry grade switch. And from this switch, I'm using the fiber optic cable to link to the second switch. And from the second switch, it's connected to the third switch. And the last switch also connect to the first switch. We're using the fiber optic cable to connect all these switch together because the fiber optic cable provide fast speed, low latency, and long distance run. And now this switch is connecting to the camera and the right switch is connecting to the recorder and the cool switch, so the camera is live. Let me just, let's say, if this link is, is go down, let me just remove the cable and see what happens. Now the last switch is not connected to the first switch, but we still can see the camera is live. The ERPS will find another path to return to the center if one of the links is done. But not all the switch support ERPS. These are to the L2 Plus Manager switch. It support ERPS. You can just log into the switch to configure which port you want to run the ERPS. Or simply, you can just use this button. Push on, push all the switch with on. Then you got the fast ring. I mean, it will create the ERPS automatically. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.